来るぞ Greetings, fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors. I'm the DBZ Collector, and I'm here to help you start or build your Dragon Ball collection. I buy it, I review it, you like it, you buy it, and your collection grows. This is the Fierce Battle World Martial Arts Tournament Master Lives Son Goku without his turban and Wagasa umbrella. This is the overseas version of the February 2024 Ichiban Kuji. This was the last one prize. It's very rare that there's an overseas release for a last one prize figure. They did that back in 2019 with the Golden Uzaru from the Greatest Saiyan line. As well as Semi-Perfect Cell from the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Amazing line. They should really do that more often. Before we get to the figure, let's take a look at the box first. Here is the front, one side, the back, the other side, the bottom, the top, and the Toei Animation Sticker, which is this figure's sticker of authenticity. Let's know that he is real, not a bootleg. And now let's take him out of the box. Cut the tip. How's everybody's day going? What's one character in their form, if they have one, do you want most to have a Master Lies version? A Master Lies release. There's so many that I want, but for the longest time, ever since he appeared in the anime, I've been wanting a Master Lies hit figure. I have this one, I guess it's considered an, unlic an unlicensed figure. I got him from Amazon, so this I have to do. The only part I don't like about this figure is his face. The rest is fucking amazing. Anyways. Part of my French. I don't mean to cut. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it to sound cool. <laughs> I mean, I have, like, when I'm uploading the videos, I have not for kids, so I gotta cuss. But not really. <laughs> I swear they have, like, they're using, like, Double ply tape or something. Jeez. Gosh, my double ply toilet paper was that thick. <laughs> he comes wrapped in this plastic. He's fantastic. Alrighty then, here he is unpacked. He comes whole where he stands at ten and a half inches. Here he is with the other figures in the line. Spirits did a fantastic job with this figure. The sculpt looks perfect. This is like right after he takes his turban off because they didn't recognize him at first. He's like, hey, hey guys. Spirits did a fantastic job capturing his likeness. Looks exactly like his anime counterpart. The paint quality and application look perfect. And there is some shading on this figure. Not as much as I would like there to be. 
There's some shading on the lines under his eyes. They could have added some on his skin. And there is shading on his shirt. Like where the belt is and on the sleeve right there and then around here. And that's it for the shading. There's none on his pants. Missed opportunity. And for his shirt, there is shading on the back side. They could at least done some shading on his um, duffel bag and his power pole. Alrighty then, that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And be sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss out on a possible new addition to your collection. If you had this figure, then let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. If you don't have them, then let me know what you think based on what you've seen in this review and if you plan on buying him. And if you do want to buy him, then as I mentioned in the beginning, in the description box below, you'll find the links to the places that sell this figure. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.